One day some twisted son of a bitch is bound to teach you a thing or two about living in this cold, godforsaken world. Analysts at Japan's nuclear regulator have also unveiled projections for the possible spread of radiation from nuclear plants in the event of an accident similar to what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. They say meltdowns at a handful of the country's 16 nuclear facilities could result in radiation spreading beyond their recommended 30-kilometer evacuation zone. The projections are based on a number of conditions, including weather records for the past year. They show accidents at 12 plants could contaminate areas within the 30-kilometer radius. To such an extent, people would have to leave for at least seven days. <laughs> The situation is more worrisome at the four remaining plants, Oi, Hamaoka, and Kashiwazaki Kariwa in central Japan, and Fukushima Daini, which is near Fukushima Daiichi. Oi went back online in the summer. According to the authority, accidents at those plants could spread radiation beyond the 30-kilometer evacuation zone. Municipal leaders are expected to reference these new projections when they revise their emergency evacuation plans. Watch this. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. The people at Japan's new nuclear regulator are wasting little time getting to work. Officials at the Nuclear Regulation Authority have recommended expanding the evacuation radius for accidents from 10 to 30 kilometers. They included the proposal in draft guidelines for responding to a disaster. Members of the authority reviewed the accident last year at Fukushima Daiichi. They learned many elderly and sick patients died in the evacuation. Their guidelines include choosing evacuation shelters in advance. They would set up temporary shelters nearby for those unable to make it to the evacuation centers. More than 130 municipalities across Japan lie within 30 kilometers of a nuclear plant. Leaders of those cities and towns will use the guidelines as the basis for disaster plan they hope to finalize by next March. Japan is under pressure to set a new emissions target in time for a major climate change conference next month. A two-day preparatory meeting came to a close in Seoul on Tuesday. The 18th round of COP18 in Doha aims to launch a new climate treaty by 2020 to replace the Kyoto Protocol, which will be extended after it expires this year. Japan had pledged internationally to cut emissions by 25 percent from 1990 levels by 2020. But achieving the same became impossible after last year's nuclear accident forced the country to burn more fossil fuels. Japan was asked to offer a new plan, such as producing a new greenhouse gas emissions target, but attended the meeting in Seoul without having set a revised goal. I figured I would have gotten into trouble somehow. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? Of course we would like every industrialized country to be as clean as possible, but Japan has very special circumstances. Um, so we look forward to, uh, to their, their decision. The representative of Denmark shared this view. She expressed understanding of the nuclear accident, but urged Japan to work to find alternative ways to achieve the original planned 25% reduction. The Japanese government plans to come up with a new reduction target by the end of this year by boosting renewable energies and making further conservation efforts. And there's these guys. We took them camping for fun. It's another bullshit experiment. Build me an engine that can carry me home. Light my darkness, bake my bread. Show me the future, keep my family safe and warm.
This is all this is a cover up. This is a false flag. This is more poisoning of the ocean and the atmosphere and the biosphere. No one can escape. Okay. Nah, man. I'm pretty fucking far from okay. <laughs>